And Chicago's OEMC says emergency services were not affected by the software outage, but there were some non-emergency operations impacted that were either restored or are in the process of being restored. Affected. Uh, and the fix came out really quick. I mean, in, in probably less than an hour uh, after the, the problem occurred. Um, but the problem is you have to touch every single PC. Estimates are in the industry that, you know, by end of day, uh, the bulk of organizations will be resolved. But by tomorrow morning, everything should be fixed. This all started when cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike issued an update for a product used to block online attacks. There was a defect in that update affecting computers running Microsoft Windows. The company says this is not a security issue or a cyber attack, but the impact is global. From airlines to banks, hospitals, media outlets, CrowdStrike has issued a fix. And one expert we talked to said he's surprised this hasn't happened before. They don't want to wait uh, to to roll this out because they want to they want to update everybody right up front. So it's a catch twenty two. What's what's better to roll it out and make sure there's not a problem, or to not roll it out and have people get hacked? It's a quandary. I don't know how they're going to uh, to resolve this issue, um, other than to do you know more thorough testing right up front um, with different operating systems and different things. Several Chicago area hospitals were impacted along with state agencies, Illinois State Police as well. Though a spokesperson uh, says state police are still capable of receiving 911 calls and dispatching officers. Jewel and Dina, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Gaynor. Well, the